Hey, welcome to day 26. My name is Tammy Davis. I'm your mentor and guide on these 30 days of essential oils. Um, so welcome. Thank you for joining me. And um, if you're new, I'm really stoked that you're here. I'm happy to share everything that I know about oils and especially epigenetics at this point. Um, it's kind of been the slow evolution of my um, few, last few years, but it's really come to um, a point of clarity for me. Um, so, yeah, thanks for t tuning in. And for those of you who've been here with me and have put up with me for this long, I can't thank you enough. Um, but anyway, uh, today I want to talk about Google. Um, that is not like Google, the um, search engine, I'm talking about Google spelled G-U-G-G-U-L. Um, now, I just want to clarify that as a reminder, these are the information I share here is not normally found on another website or in a book. These are based off of um, the information I share is based off of research I've done as well as how I've used it with clients, including myself. So, because um, I am my number one client, <clears throat> I am a big advocate of the oils. If um, you don't already know this, I've been working with them for well over 30 years. I do have a background in pharmacology. As I mentioned, the um, epigenome, which includes the study of plant constituents and their effect on human health as well as drug development. And the reason that's important is because it helps me help you understand how these oils are, as signaling molecules have the benefit of improving epigenetic um, flow, if you will. And um, just to be, so you know that I'm actually coming October 12th of this year, 2019, there is a free masterclass on essential oils and epigenetics. And um, you're welcome to join me. It is in a private Facebook group, um, but all you have to do is let me know you want to tune in to that live talk, and I'll just add you to the group, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, I hope you can join me. It's um, from 11 to 12 Mountain Time on, again, the, the Saturday the 12th. So like I said, today is uh, Google. And um, Google is a type of myrrh. Google has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for a very long time. Um, well, yeah, I mean, Ayurveda has been around for thousands of years. And so Google has been a, a primary um, component of that tradition. However, it's important to keep in mind that there's a difference between the oil and the herb. And so what's typically being used in um, Ayurvedic medicine is the herb. Now, when they break down the oil, they can certainly look at and have been able to demonstrate through um, foreign research that these constituents, which are primarily various forms of myrcene and um, various forms of what they call Google, 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 Google Esterone, Google Esterone, it's various forms of that, and um, what that is, is that's, <clears throat> pardon me, is a ketone, and um, like I said, there's several different types of mercine, so it's a very concentrated um, type of thick resinous oil um, that has an extraordinary benefit on inflammation. Um, myrrh is already an anti, a significant anti-inflammatory, and I've done a video on that during 31 days of essential oils. And Google is in that same family, but it's an extraordinary oil for um, for inflammation. It's been used in the areas of rheumatism, arthritis, um, cardiovascular issues, and so forth. So again, and that's all inflammation related. I personally have used it for people who have had um, significant cholesterol issues. Well, I shouldn't say significant. I mean, cholesterol issues that are on the verge of requiring medication, okay? And, and so we've assessed this through blood tests, and if, they are on, if, the, if they're on the high end of cholesterol, but they're not on medications yet or they're refusing medications, <clears throat> Pardon me, Google really is very beneficial. <clears throat> Pardon me for that. Um, now, if you're taking cholesterol medication, I don't recommend using Google because it's the same, it's typically along the same lines of um, action within the system. And so that's what I refer to as duplicating the mechanism of action. Because besides inflammation, Google is an exceptional choice, oil for helping to stabilize the hormonal system. And cholesterol is significant. When, the, um, when we have cholesterol issues, um, we are facing 
major hormone. It's a, it's a clear indication that the hormonal system is out of balance. And so the introduction of Google has, I have actually seen, um, I've actually seen cholesterol levels come back into normal. I had a, um, I'm thinking off the top of my head, um, a client, <clears throat> pardon me, he was an Amish man, or he is an Amish man, and he had a heart attack and had to go in for um, surgery. He had his wife call me because um, they had rushed him to the hospital, and he was telling her to call me to see if he still needed to go through the surgery. And, uh, I mean, you're that advanced. You need to do what your doctor says and go get the surgery. Get yourself stabilized. I mean, I am not going to insert anything until medical intervention has been successful in stabilization. That's one of the things with me and oils is like I really love them. And if people are using medications, making sure that that part of that, if your life is kind of like okay before you introduce. And then when you do introduce oils, knowing how to introduce them. So in his case, it's like, no, dude, go get the surgery. Don't, you shouldn't even be talking to me right now. When you come home, call me and I'll come see you, <laughs> which I did. And, um, uh, Aaron is his name. Um, he recovered quite well. He, um, he used, they had him on, he really didn't want to take a lot of medications, which was a concern to me, but that was, that was his choice. Um, but he's, he did fine. I mean, honestly, he did fine. We, um, used oils with him. Like I said, this Google's very good for the cardiovascular system. We used oils, including Google to help rectify his cholesterol levels, um, help with his digestion, most importantly, because that's where the hormonal system and the cholesterol use is better. It, it stabilizes and is improved when the body is able to break the foods down. Um, but Google was very instrumental in all of that. And so we were able to bring his, well, he, he was taking blood pressure meds. <clears throat> And that was part of the requirement from the surgery. He was taking blood pressure medications. And so we were able to kind of gauge using oils and um, blood pressure. And the more his blood pressure dropped, you know, he would mention it to the doctor. The doctor would step down the medication and we just kept the oils going. And so we just kind of kept it. And I made sure that he was always checking at the same time every day to, to get kind of an accurate picture of where his blood pressure was at various points in the day on the timeline of the day. So, but like I said, those are the times I really, um, I mean, I know that the studies are saying that, you know, um, Google is good for rheumatic arthritis and osteoarthritis and, and other, you know, rheumatoid issues. But I really, like I said, to me, that's all internal medicine and that's all it's the hormonal system. And that's also the immune system. And the more we can stabilize the hormonal system and the immune system, again, cholesterol levels come down, blood pressure reduces, and you can, um, really benefit from stabilizing that hormonal system with the use of Google. It's a, it's that powerful. I just want to say it is that powerful and it is honestly that benign of an oil that it's really not, it doesn't conflict with really any medications other than those that have a significant or direct impact on the hormonal system. I'm thinking there's another, um, I wish I could remember the name of the medication off the top of my head that is for blood pressure and it, 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 it addresses every single, oh my gosh, I could, I'm going to look it up and I'll put it in the description box. But that one, if, if that one is in the pro of being used, then you don't want to use Google because that one basically targets a number of, um, hormonal receptors. And so I wouldn't blend the two for that matter. Now, with all of that said, um, I am cognizant of one person who had been taking, um, she had never been given any sort of major diagnoses. Otherwise, this is the one, this is one of the people that I know that was kind of like on the high end of the cholesterol level, but they didn't put her on any meds. Um, she was, they, but she, the doctors were just kind of giving her medication because they thought she was anxious. And so she was, she was on a very strong benzo. And so this was, I mean, I'm, I'm saying all this because when she started using Google, 
um, what ultimately happened is she started getting massive headaches, massive headaches. And so we had to really back her off and use smaller amounts because again, it is hormonal. And although anxiety tends to be linked to any number of neurotransmitters, any one of those neurotransmitters can be changed into a hormone and potentially, um, in my mind, I'm thinking serotonin, you know, because serotonin, um, can lead to migraines. And so this woman was getting some really significant um, headaches. And so what we were doing was we had to back down until she came down off of the benzo because it was like she was detoxing too rapidly. We had to do things to expedite her lymph system and also protect her kidneys through this whole process so that she could eliminate the buildup of oxidative stress and um, restore her system. And she was of an an advanced age. So this was taking a little bit longer because let's face it, after 70 plus years of being on this planet and consistent oxidative stress and inflammation, she was, um, it, it's, it was going to take some time to undo that. And that's one of the things I want to say about this when it comes to oils and the epigenome. Although the epigenome is wired to a change um, as needed, consistent you know, playing out, you know, the same system. Like when we can't, when we refuse to break our own habits of thinking and emotions, we're telling our epigenome to stay stuck in that cycle. Okay. So in order to reverse that, I mean, if you've got 70 years of ongoing stress and this woman's had quite the life, not in the most favorable of ways, um, ongoing stress is going to keep those um, stress factors open and, mo and active. So in order to, re to change things, we have to be willing to gently remind the body of what it's supposed to be doing and be prepared for its resistance to that change because it's got to get lit rid of it, okay? So that's a, um, that's, that, and that, is, that comes out with these powerful herbs, I mean oils. And like I said, this one is one that's fascinating scientists right now because it has been on the books Ayurvedic books for thousands of years and they're really looking into it and what I can tell you is I've worked with it personally I absolutely love it and um, but if you have but, but in the long along the lines of significant cardiovascular issues um, cardiovascular issues hormonal issues you know like thyroid um, this would be very beneficial for thyroid too um, cause that's a big, cause what happens when the body's chronically stressed is it defaults to the thyroid and, um, the thyroid can't carry that level of stress. So it becomes either over, overly excited or it, it, boot, it bottoms out. So we have these drastic changes occurring in the thyroid as a result of being dumped on as the default mechanism. And Google will actually help with that too. All right. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. Thank you again for tuning in. Feel free to sign up for my newsletter. You can find that um, link in the description box below. As I said, join aromatherapy as a lifestyle. Get all the benefit of in that. That I mean, that's like a lot of my life's work in there. Countless videos and documents all available to you. And that's where we're going to hold this epigenetic um, essential oils and epigenetic masterclass. Um, on the 12th. Okay. So I look forward to hearing from you, meeting you, and I hope you guys are well. Thank you again.